The Show Tools button is the second button in the Navigate LA ribbon. It opens the Tools panel, which consists of Navigation Tools and Draw Tools. In this video, we will go over the Navigation Tools. A separate video will explore the Draw Tools. Make sure to check it out. The Navigation Tools tab contains tools for navigating the map, selecting features, and measuring locations. These are in addition to the map navigation options you have using the mouse and keyboard. The Zoom In tool lets you zoom in on the map by drawing a box. Just click and drag a box across the area you want to zoom into while holding down your mouse button. Then release it when done. Note that the smaller the box, the larger the zoom. The zoom out tool functions similarly, but instead lets you zoom out of the map. Click and drag a box across an area while holding down your mouse button and release it when done. The smaller the box, the more you zoom out. The Zoom to Previous Extent button will zoom you to the previous map extent with a single click. The Zoom to Next Extent button functions similarly, but will zoom you to the next map extent. Using both of these buttons, you can toggle back and forth between two locations. or toggle to an even earlier location. The pen tool lets you move through the map by click dragging with your mouse. If the map gets stuck while panning, you can reset it by holding down the escape key, clicking once on the map, and then releasing the escape key. The Zoom to Full Extent button returns you to the full extent of the map with a single click. This is a default Navigate LA map extent. Before continuing to the next tool, let's review Navigate LA's default selection tool. To use the default selection tool, deselect any currently selected tool by pressing the Escape key. The Escape key deselects any activated tool in the Tools panel. The Default Selection tool appears as a white cursor that lets you select a single map feature with a single click. If features are overlapping, Navigate LA selects a topmost feature. To select multiple features, hold down the Shift key and draw a box with your mouse. To add or remove items to your selection, hold down the Control key and click on the features you would like to add or subtract. To do this for multiple features at once, draw a box while holding down both the Shift and Control keys. It should be noted that selected features can be from different layers. A record of each is included in the results tab of the report window and includes quick information about the feature, including the layer name. You can hover over a record to highlight its corresponding feature in green on the map.
If you need more detailed information about a specific feature, click on its corresponding View Report icon to open the Report tab. To view both tabs side by side, click on the Expand Results double arrow icon. Now that we've reviewed the default selection, let's continue where we left off. The Select Features by Shape tool lets you select features by drawing a polygon on the map. Just hold down the mouse button while drawing your shape and release it when done. Selectable features within the polygon will be selected. The Select Features using Existing Markups button selects all selectable features touching any markup currently drawn on the map. To demonstrate this, we'll add markups from a previous project onto the map. With markups now on the map, click the Select Features using the Existing Markups button to select all features touching a markup. These will appear in the Report window as in the previous example. These were created using the Draw Tools tab, which will be covered in the next video. The Clear Selected Features button clears all selected features with a single click. The Measure Distance tool lets you measure the linear distance between two or more points. Click on the map to add a start point, and double click to complete your measurement at the second point. Your measurement will appear in the measurement box, and you can convert it to a different unit from the units dropdown, which automatically converts it. If you're measuring a polyline, click again for each additional vertex you want to add, and select the list checkbox to view the individual segment measurements. They will appear in a separate report window that you can download as an Excel file. The Open Measure Options arrow next to the Measure Distance tool has additional measuring options. Click on it to reveal them. The Measure Area tool lets you measure areas instead of lines. Click on the map to add a start point. Then click again for each additional vertex and double click to end your area measurement. As in the previous example, you can use the Units dropdown to convert your measurement to a different unit. The Get Location tool Retrieve the location coordinates of any point on the map with a single click. The latitude and longitude coordinates appear in the lat long measurement boxes. You can select the projection type from the projection dropdown and view the coordinates for more than one point by checking the list checkbox. The list of coordinates will display in a separate report window, and you can download them as an Excel file. Because the Excel file contains latitude and longitude coordinate points in separate columns, you can drag it onto an existing or new Navigate LA map and the points will automatically be recognized and mapped. Note that this is only the case when the coordinate column names are either latitude and longitude, lat, long, or x, y, respectively.
We have covered all of the tools in the Navigation Tools tab. If you forget how to use any of them, click on the Tools Help button on the top right corner of the panel to see a description of each. We hope this video was helpful and informative. If you'd like to submit a comment or question or report a problem, feel free to contact us at the email shown on the screen. ENG dot nav s u p t at la city dot org. Thanks for watching.